It was on the 30th of December, 2021, when the man of God was on the prayer mountain where he revealed the mind of God concerning the year 2022 through a series of revelations. Amongst the many revelations he received from God concerning the year 2022, he revealed that he saw water and lives being taken away. Prepare yourself to listen to the exact prophecy. These were his words. Yes, I saw water, lot of water. I saw lot of water sweeping away houses. Father, I pray for your hand of protection. Father, I pray for your hand of protection. Is it an unavoidable or avoidable event? Is this a dam, a natural disaster, or an ocean? Let me put it that way. But I saw life being taken, houses being taken by the love of the Lord. What you're about to watch as a confirmation of what the Lord had revealed to his prophet. This happened in the country, South Africa, within two weeks after the prophecy had been aired. Countless homes have been destroyed following a massive storm and bad weather in KwaZulu-Natal. The storm began battering the province on the 30th of December and since then the weather has been relentless with heavy downpours, hail and strong wind. Homes and infrastructure have been damaged and families displaced. One of the worst affected municipalities now wants its area declared a local disaster. Reporter Mawande Keswa has more. What was once someone's home has been flattened by nature. Already vulnerable due to unfavorable socio-economic conditions, the community of Zuzogushe is now even worse than before. I used to come under the tree so as to get inside my room. That's what I'm doing. That to not to use the, the, the under the tree, it is not going to be easy for me to get inside my room. The trail of destruction left by the storm has prompted the Umgeni municipality to write to the national government to declare the area a local disaster. We've had trees fall on informal settlements that you know, devastating entire areas. We've had mud houses wash away and people living in uh, the Ingonyama Trust areas. So there really is wide, widespread and, and it's, it's, it's our entire municipality. Uh, it's, it's not just a portion, it's not just one particular set, um, area. The municipality says it will also be writing to the provincial government to seek financial assistance. In the meantime, the community of Zuzogushe is appealing to those who can to lend them a helping hand. Mawande Keswa, Hawik. Yes, I saw water, lot of water. I saw lot of water sweeping away houses. Father, I pray for your hand of protection. Father, I pray for your hand of protection. Is it an unavoidable or avoidable event? Is this a dam, a natural disaster, or an ocean? Let me put it that way. But I saw life being taken, houses being taken by Let's move now back to the Eastern Cape and the death toll from the flooding in that province has risen. 
and I'm joined now once more uh, by our report and camera operator Ngeba Ntlangani. So Ngeba, thank you so much for coming back to us. So when we last spoke, uh, we had news that it was 15 people who died. Now it's gone up to 21. What do you know of this added death toll? Yes, Ali, it's very sad to report on this, uh, that since Saturday, uh, when this flash flood hit the Eastern Cape, especially Buffalo City, as well as uh, um, Bashe local municipality, uh, when this was uh, reported to those flash floods, we were they were talking of two people, confirmed cases. And then coming here to cover this story on Sunday morning, the number, number went up to six. And uh, later on Sunday night, then they were talking of ten. And well, yesterday, um, actually waking up this morning, the number was 15. And now we just got uh, uh, the confirmed report from the police in the province that the number has gone up to 21. And that includes um, the police diver as well as the farm workers uh, who were crossing the river, uh, flooded river, uh, Naun River on uh, Saturday and where this incident happened. And the number now as we talk is talking of 21. And one thing that I want to touch on as well, uh, the latest that I've just received is um, uh, the farm worker, missing farm worker. Uh, as I reported this story uh, yesterday, he has, uh, he, her body has been retrieved this afternoon and she was found 200 meters away from the bridge where they were swept away. Uh, that's the latest that I've just received from the police in the province. It's a sad situation and we don't know whether these numbers will remain there or what. So we're still looking into the story, looking uh, closely. What could this mean? Is the prophecy complete or is there more to come as young as the year 2022 is some of the prophecies are already unraveling what more as the year unfolds as apostle samuel robert dame normally says some prophecies can be averted let us join hands and pray for the world at large for mercy we are one another strength therefore where we are joined together we are strong and our plea is loud let this be a prayer point as we worship the lord in spirit and in truth 